today is Labor Day. Whole America is celebrating and enjoying today as uh, Labor Day. But today, everybody's resting from their continued work. Uh, that's good. Rest. Everybody likes to stay home. Be with the family, relax. Everybody in this country is working. Uh, so make a good living. Uh, so working, make a good living, and raise the uh, family. That's good. Today, the American people are resting in their home. Today is the Labor Day, the first uh, Monday of uh, September every year. My memory is right that started in 1882, I believe, 1882. Uh, the, initially, the Labor Day, uh, the Labor Business Units and Associations they started to celebrate their work and association. Uh, initially, that's the way they started, but eventually, uh, this is like more rest. Uh, you know, relaxing from the work and staying home and with the family. That's a good thing. I remember one verse in the Bible. Uh, in them. When we work and work, we are uh, suffering. Sometimes we are tired. Uh, but still we are working. That's good. Thank for the job and the good economy that we have. People are working. That's good. But sometimes too much work makes us tired. Sometimes sick. Sometimes uh, storm so much pressure and work. Some people get stressed out uh, and sometimes tired and sick. Uh, some jobs are like that. But everybody needs, you know, in the world there is a break time. But today is a, a resting day. I remember one thing, the, one words in the Bible. Jesus said one time to his people, come unto me. Only that labor and are heavy a later and I will give you the rest Jesus said that I will give you the rest I remember that Jesus words that he wants to give us the rest because today is a resting day labor is a resting day and Jesus said take my yoke upon you and uh, learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is a light. Jesus is talking about the inner spirit, inner soul. But the work that the Labor Day is that we're talking about the outside, you know, the world, you know, I have many, many tools here uh, because people working, hard working uh, for a good living, that's good. Uh, uh, Jesus is talking about, come to me only that labor and heavy laden and I will give you the rest. Everybody needs rest. But uh, Jesus is talking the rest, really talking. We need a rest to the outside, the body. Yes, of course. We like that. Everybody needs that. But Jesus is talking. Everybody is tired and sick and overburdened with the sins in the life. I thought about that. 
why Jesus is talking about that? You know, really, I, uh, I'm so much for that verse that what Jesus said. If someone is overburdened and heavy burdened and losing the peace and the comfort, really, that's a big burden, big heaviness, losing the joy, the happiness. And who can give me the peace and the rest? You know the, the real peace, the real rest that a person can have? It is from Jesus Christ. Jesus said that the Matthew's Gospel chapter 11 verse 29. Come to me all ye that labors and uh, uh, heavy laden and I will give you the rest. And he is talking about, you know, the rest means the freedom from the sin. Come unto me, only that laborers and heavy laden. The sin is the biggest burden. The sin is the biggest burden to the human beings. That's what Jesus is talking to the inside man. He was working, talking to the laborers the peasants, the farmers. But Jesus, in relation with that, Jesus is asking, telling them, everybody is suffering with the, their, their sinful nature. So they, they don't have a satisfaction. Uh, always worries, what will happen to my near future? What will happen to my, uh, if I lose my job? If I, what, what will happen to, if I, if I lose my, uh, you know, the health or job? If something happened to my family, uh, some uh, serious uh, sickness, some medical payments, or some kind of surgery, or something happened in the family, or accidents, people are frustrated. Even though we are financially sound, we may have good work and money and savings, people are thinking how they can have a an assurance, a surety that, that how I get a peace, the, the, the real rest. That's what Jesus is saying. Take my yoke. You know, the olden days, even nowadays in the country uh, style area, you know, the bullocks, the oxen carry the yoke and people use the oxen for the plowing the land, you know, ground, or carry, uh, you know, the taking the bullock carts on which they carry the, uh, you know, the weights and luggages to. So, uh, there, there's a yoke like this, you know, not like this, but the, put it on the neck of the ox so that the, the, the ox or animal can keep on go and draw the weight and burden. So he's talking about the, the yoke. But here Jesus is talking about more than this. He said, uh, this is heavy and people are suffering with the work and the responsibilities. Of course, we are doing it. Thank God for the health that we have it. Thank for the good economy. Thank God for the, the work, the job opportunities that we have in this country. But Jesus is talking about the, the inner burden that a person is carrying like a, you know, like a yoke on his neck and keep on drawing. That is, there's no rest 24 7, day and night. And if this person is living like 70 years, 80 years, 90 years, still carrying the yoke, carrying the yoke and suffering and suffering and suffering, there is no rest. Jesus is talking about the, the burden or the, the yoke of sin, the sin that devil's clutches upon the people and the family. You know, it's a devil's clutch. It's invisible with the eyes. It is sin. How you can get it of the sin? There is no way in the world except one way. That's what Jesus is talking Jesus is saying, take my yoke. He's, Jesus is saying, take my yoke upon you 
and learn from me. I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest. Jesus is talking about if we receive Jesus into the life, into the heart, he can remove the clutch of sin from our life. The, the, the clutch of sin from our life. The moment that the sin is gone, you and I will enjoy the freedom, the rest, the peace, the joy. That's what Jesus is talking. I so, saw if we take the yoke that Jesus is giving us, we will get the real rest. Rest. There's no need of frustrations and anger, complaint, murmuring, or anything. Because Jesus paid the price on the cross of, of Calvary. He died on the cross for the for the remission of sins for the old mankind. Jesus didn't discriminate the people like the Hindus, Muslims, and Christians. No. Jesus came to this world for everybody, everyone. If you read John's Gospel in the, in the Bible, John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave, he gave his only begotten Son. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know what? Jesus came to this world for the whole world. Means everyone. He didn't he didn't discriminate anybody like a white, a black, or short or tall. No. For any nationality uh, people, he didn't come for that. He came for the whole world. If anyone receiving Christ in the life, that means he is talking about the yard. It's very mild and gentle. And your souls will get the peace and calmness and quietness. Means the clutches of sin will be removed. The Christ will dwell in our heart. The peace of mind, which is will be from above heaven. Because God created heaven and earth, and God created everyone. And God is a real honor of us. So if we give our life to God, that is a real, real rest. In this uh, Labor Day, I'm just telling you, the real rest is not only limited today, one day, September 2nd, it is throughout this whole life. If we have a, that kind of a life, you know what? God will take care of our old matters and needs. There is a life after death. If you receive Jesus, your life is safe and sound and you can enjoy the, the freedom life from the sin and you will have a, another eternal life in heaven with Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only person talking such a love and assurance for the human beings. Even though there are many religions and denominations, no people can say like that. There is no religious leaders like that. Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only one who died on the cross for the remission of the sins and he, he has the power to remove them. He has the power and authority to remove the sins of the people. You know the calamities and the problem, the wars, fighting, shooting, dispute, divorce, disobedience, the fight between the countries. You know why? The sin. That is, many people, they cannot see that. The sin is the problem. If I imagine there is no sin in this world, there's no war, there's no fight, and there's no shooting and fighting. There is no divorce, there's no disobedience, there's no need of police control, there's no need of army, military. You know what? There is a time coming. Jesus will come down to this world for his saints. And Jesus will rule the whole world thousand years. It's not like four years or five years or ten years. 
No one has to elect Jesus Christ at that time. Right now, democracy and socialist economy and mixed economy, communism, none of them are really giving freedom and rest to the people. But there is a new rule will come into this world. And this whole world will be ruled and controlled by one person. Do you know who is that? It's going to be Jesus Christ who paid the price for all the people. And he died on the cross. And under his control, the whole world, the whole world will be ruled by Jesus Christ for thousand years. In that thousand years, we can call that time like a theocratic time, theocratic world. So, in brief, let me come back to the Labor Day for, uh, rest. The real rest is that we are getting through Jesus Christ. My, my, my dear brother or sister, whoever is watching me, if you don't have any relationship with Jesus Christ, I'm not asking what denomination, what church, what religion you are. I'm talking. If you, you are, if you are not let or all receive Jesus Christ yet in your life, I just tell you with a friendly manner, friendly way, receive Jesus in your life. He can remove your old burdens of sin and He can give you the rest, the real rest. And that rest is great. And you can enjoy your life in this world after the life in this world. We have an eternal life with Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus said in Matthew's chapter, Gospel, uh, I mean chapter 11, verse 29, Come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke, means receive Jesus. I'll pray for you if you want to receive Jesus, and you will get real rest in this labor day. Jesus, come to my life. I know you are giving rest for the human being. I'm a sinner. Come to me. Remove my sins. Even though we are walking in this world, we need a real rest to my inner spirit and in my soul. Jesus, come to my life. Thank you that you died on the cross for my sins. I receive you. You will be my Lord and my Savior. I will live for you. Thank you for the peace that you are giving to me. Lord, I like to live with you in the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed such a prayer, of course, immediately you will feel a freedom, a rest, immediately in your mind, in your spirit. That's a divine gift. If you want that, you do that. If you enjoy, if you need 